It's a wet day. I think today will be a great time to talk about water reflection photography. Coming up. Hey guys, Corkett here and welcome to the third episode of the Camera Techniques series. In this episode we're going to be talking about water reflection photography as shown in the intro. Now, water reflection photography is basically light water reflecting or refracting on water. Anyway, so, I'm going to go down here and we have some puddles that we can try this out in. Now, as you can see here, puddles, you can see that sky, that building, we, we, we can see stuff in the water, reflection. Now, water reflection photography, it depends on what you're trying to reflect, but in this case, if I want to reflect the house, I've got the sky right down here, you can see just the sky above, you can see the house there, you can see a lot of stuff. Now, specifically for that, that is water reflection photography, but the kind of stuff I'm talking about, like that, is not just a tiny little puddle. Now, you can make, it, it depends where you are for shooting that kind of photography, but if you're, for example, in a city, you can carry a bottle around with you, and you can shoot photography by just pouring out some water, and then filming in that, um, and, you know, that that's, that's good. You can also shoot time lapses in it, you can shoot time lapses over water, but the main sort of thing I'm talking about is kind of the shooting time lapses over water photography, shooting photography just over water, long exposures, long stretches, refraction of light, reflecting of light, and you can all see that in your camera, in the image, in the picture. Now, uh, specifically, I'll put, I'll put up a few examples all throughout the video, just, just examples, uh, have a little one now or something. Um, it's basically, if, if you have a, like a big scenery, and uh, you take that photo and then you re you reflect something specific. So like one of the examples that's been going up on screen in this video is of uh, like I was going on a canal boat and the canal water and trees above the water looked like it was in the water. It was like a big open like crevasse of trees all throughout the water. And it looked like it was just one solid thing, even though in the middle of the picture more to the top of the picture, you can kind of see the water level, and I flipped it so that the kind of what should be the top is the bottom, and it's it's kind of a trippy image, but it looks so cool. Images like that are the kind of thing that I'm talking about here, and in a minute I'll give it a go where I type out some water and I try and take a photo out of that. I'm not expecting it to be particularly good because it more has to be on like a road surface, um, but we can try it out. Also, fun fact. In Hollywood movies, they tend to spray down the roads before they shoot, so all the water, all the light can reflect off of the water into the cameras and make a much greater effect. Um, I learned that little tip uh, a little while back when I was doing some research into this, um, and I've done this sort of photography for a while. It's one of my favourite types, um, and yeah, we'll give it a go. Okay, we have water. As I was saying, if you tip a bottle or a container of water onto a road, we're going to use this as our temporary road surface, you'll get a reflection. Now currently, besides the reflection of my phone into the sky, which you can see here, obviously there's going to be no reflection onto the wood, which I'm just going to try and prove right about now, there is clearly no reflection. If I then tip the container, in this case, an ice cream container, recycling, um, onto there. You should now be able to see, it may be a little bit difficult to see in my camera, you can now see the reflection in the water of the light. And we're actually going to take this photo, and you could see this in one of my music videos in the future. Who knows? It's actually a decent photo. I take a few photos and I'll sift through them later. Either way, you can see the reflection in the water now, and you can probably see the shadow there of my phone. Now, this is the sort of thing I'm talking about. 
you can see the whole reflection in there now, which obviously wasn't there before. This is the kind of thing I like with water reflection photography, is you can even make it yourself. You don't need to go to a huge body of water, generally is, because it's better to do that, because there's lots of trees and stuff. But you can make it yourself, especially in like a city or something, unless it's been raining, you can make it yourself, get some good night photography of like neon signs and stuff like that, especially if you're in somewhere like Tokyo. It's good for that. Um, but yeah, all these it, all these sorts of things for water reflection photography, it, it cannot be underestimated. The kind of reflection or refraction of light that you can get, um, the effect is just... <laughs> it is one of the best out of all photography, uh, in my personal opinion. That is, you can make that up for yourself. Either way, water reflection photography is definitely my favourite um, type of ref photography that I've been taking currently. Um, and I shall continue to do that. And in a lot of my music videos, which obviously have been going, as I said, out all, you know throughout the video, um, you know th those kind of pictures. I you know I really like those pictures because if you know you can either reflect a subject or you can just reflect a huge load of stuff like light and stuff like this. It's all this guy. Um, yeah, I like that idea that you can reflect whatever you like um, into water. And then get that image back, either distorted or just reverted, upside down, flipped. Which you can then flip back over and get a really trippy image, as one of them are uh, on the canal and everything like that, as I already explained. Um, but yeah, you can get some really trippy images from it. And that's why I particularly like water reflection photography. Hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, make sure to leave a like down below. Check out all the links to the, all the equipment used in this video down below. And if you're new around here, definitely consider subscribing to the channel for more camera technique videos just like this until the next one which should be next week um then hopefully you stick around to check out some of my other content i should be linking up here or you know in the end screens uh don't think go and check out some uh the content i have put a lot of time and effort into it over the last few weeks um and uh yeah try out some light uh, light photography light refraction photography with water water reflection photography op